We saw the PPI reaction yesterday. Business whole, wholesale level inflation is certainly coming down month over month and, and just a modest move year over year. Can we expect the same with the consumer prices that we all pay at the store? I think that we can. I think inflation is starting to drop. We're starting to see that across the board. The market's feeling feeling pretty good about it. I think you also got to watch what Fed uh, uh, Chairman Powell says at the Jackson Hole meeting, you know, later this month in, in August, maybe around the 22nd to the 24th. We'll see if he's do dovish or hawkish on some statements that he says. The the unemployment number, you know, last uh, a week and a half ago was pretty disturbing. It was it was pretty, you know. He needs to be very, very careful here. He's start, starting to walk a, walk a real tightrope here on interest rates, and I think he'll cut interest rates you know, uh, sooner than later. But that growth story it slowing down also leads to inflation slowing down, which we are seeing pick up in the, in the data that we've been getting over the course of the last couple of months. Things are tempering there. Does that now mean that you feel more comfortable going back in the markets, given the melees that we saw in certain parts of the last week and a half or so? I think that's that's a really interesting question because, you know, we wrote about it about three weeks ago, how the market was throthy and needed a cons period of consolidation or a pullback. Now, do we expect to get what we got that the Monday when the market went just absolutely straight down with that carry trade? And the answer is no, we did not expect that. But, you know, it, it stopped us out of a, a few positions, Dom, so we'll be looking to re-enter. I'm very bullish on the market long term. I think that by the end of the year, we can see 5,700 on the S&P, a brand new 52-week high. But on the near term right now, I think there's a lot of nervousness out there, including me. And, um, you know, after seeing that carry trade drop us the way it is, I think being a little bit patient and picking your positions carefully, I think, is a very prudent way to trade right now, especially for the next two, four to six weeks until things calm down a little bit. Just how deep do you think any other pullback could be at this point? Do you feel like we could retest some of the lows that we saw over the course of the past five to ten days? Yeah, and if you look at it too, Don, we're coming up and hitting resistance now. We've had four or five, six days in a row of up days on the NASDAQ. We're hitting resistance. Do I think we'll get a pullback from here? Yes, I do. That's kind of what we're anticipating and planning on with our trading anyway. Do I think we'll come down and retest the lows? I think there's probably about a 75% possibility that we will. I think we'll get a pullback, but I don't think we're going to go much lower. I think the lows on August the, the uh, 5th were set. I think that's sort of the low for the year. I think that carry trade really washed things out, and it clearly took off the throb of the market. So. You know, net net, we're bullish, but I think over the next two to four weeks, I think we're going to see it be pretty sloppy. All right. If it does get sloppy to the downside again, what goes on the shopping list? What are you buying? I think you buy strength. I think you buy, look at biotech. It held up very, very well in this, you know, this nasty uh, market that we've had. I think uh, Eli Lilly, I mean, goodness gracious, that Ozempic drug that they're making is just printing money. I mean, the last report I said, that they, I think they had seven to eight million people using it, and they were expecting anywhere from 25 to 30 million within three to five years. That's amazing. <laughs> so Eli Lilly is looking really strong. But I think biotech held up well. I think you could look at uh, Regeneron held up very, very well. Some of the biotech stocks look very interesting to us because they held up in a weak market that held up strongly.